Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to The Last Fan Standing. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. Let's get right into the first meme of the week. Fuck those fireflies. Obviously the uh, great quote by Robert. That's actually a pretty good Photoshop, to be honest. That looked pretty fucking cool. I'd like a wallpaper of that. Uh, 1080, or no, I'm sorry, 1920 by 1080. Photoshop uh, wallpaper of that. That'd be great. So, this is... Uh, Diesel Theory rocking the, the launcher. I thought I'd put this at the beginning because it's rare you ever see launcher clips, so this will be interesting to watch. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't... I'm trying to formulate something to say about the launcher, but it's such a, a weird weapon. I have so many mixed thoughts on it. Like, even right there, like he didn't get a kill with the launcher, and they were all grouped together. Uh, he ended up getting it with the Molotov cocktail, which I think says something about the slowness of the launcher. Now, what they have done is they've patched the launcher in the most frequent patch. Um, I'm sorry, not the most frequent, but the most recent patch. They patched it, and it is now three loadout points, and it might be a little cheaper as well. I can't say that for sure, but it's definitely less loadout points. So there you go, Diesel Theory, killing that guy around the corner with the launcher. You know, I, I'd like to give that gun another shot now that it's only three loadout points. I feel like that could actually be worth it, because I liked, I liked the weapon itself. Uh, I just couldn't like justify equipping it in my class, because it, it took so many loadout points, and it was so expensive, and it wasn't quite worth that. So I'd like to retry that. So uh, here we are, checkpoint. Just didn't manage to pick up that entire supply box drop, because the enemies were closing in on him too fast. But it's alright, he's got a super freaking speedy enforcer and he's just uh shooting it at everybody bam finishes that guy off the hunting rifle at close range that's freaking nuts this guy was ready amazing and he had the machete as well and let's see where's the last enemy oh, he's, he's like across the map so this will be interesting it's gonna be interesting to see them close in on each other and uh and show down especially since he has a hunting rifle He's gonna have to use. I mean, he's got plenty of enforcer ammo, though, so I'm back. Oh, and. Yep, you're fucked, yep. <laughs> Two freaking nail bombs. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Good job, Phoenix. And here we are with the uh, second meme of the week. This one regarding campaign. Lots of health kits and supplies just lying around, lying around here. Game auto saved. Shit is about to go down. That's actually exactly what I do when that happens, is I take a sip of my drink. And in my mind, I feel like I am that college kid meme. I think that's what it, I, don't, I don't know what that meme is exactly called, but that's what he is. It's, it's, he's like a college kid, I'm pretty sure. Because I always see that meme in reference to, like, you know, studying for tests or, you know, just like school jokes, school humor. And so very quickly in this clip, uh, he managed to use the Diablo to take down two guys from above. Interesting to see someone using the Diablo. Even more interesting to see them using so much of it and uh, destroying the other team so quickly. So, good job, Murder Boy. I actually included, by the way, you know, I normally do five clips an episode. Because some of these first three clips are so quick and so brief, I made it six clips, and I think the last three are pretty long, so just, just so you guys know, so you're not worrying about that. Uh, so here we are, Silent Semi-Automatic. Have not used the Silent so Semi-Automatic in a long, long time. Haven't used just the regular Semi-Automatic in a long time. And I think I explained that a long time ago, it's because I like, I don't know, I, I got so good with it, I just, I know that sounds so cocky and arrogant to say, like, oh, I got so good with the semi-automatic, I had to make things interesting for myself. But it's not so much that I was, like, crushing the enemies, and I was like, oh, this is too easy, it was more just, like, I knew the weapon too well, and uh, it wasn't interesting for me to, like, play with it anymore, so that's, that's my explanation of that. Anyway. Immediately got the uh, enemy team down to one more person. This is a one versus one cage match, basically. Oh man, I don't know how you didn't die there. That guy must have ran out of ammo or something because he stopped shooting, and you just barely survived. Thankfully, you uh, healed up pretty quickly there. You got a silence. Wow, you got silenced everything. Interesting. That's uh, that's an expensive thing to do to go silence everything because then you don't have much room for perks and stuff like that. But it seems to be working out for uh, for this guy. So. Retreating to the back of the map into the church, or not into the church, but right near the church. Yeah, definitely check out what's in that supply box, dude. Nice. Got a couple bombs, machete, molotovs. Of course he already had a machete, but that's fine. Alright. Alright. All 
Alright. He's gonna lure him in with uh, the promise of some good old religion. Old time religion. And uh, he's gonna walk into the church and blow up. It's almost like real religion <laughs> in some of the more extreme parts of the world. Where, you know, unfortunately their religious beliefs drive them to do insane things. So, uh, yeah, that got deep for a second there, didn't it? Anyway, back to The Last of Us. Rocking the uh, semi-automatic, just waiting for this guy to come in through those doors. Oh, he's gonna freaking fall for the trap. He is so... I feel like this this moment here is a metaphor for religion in the real world. He's luring him in with the promise of church and happiness. And uh, he's just gonna get blown up. Just gonna get blown up. Man, he's just waiting there. He's just waiting there. Oh! He knew that was coming, so he, he prepared for it. He threw something in there. I don't know how he destroyed the bomb. Oh, but he was not prepared for... Oh, he's running up the stairs! This is so close! Throwing bombs. Everyone's throwing bombs. This is fucking insanity. And, oh, can relieve... Oh, oh my god, that was so fucking crazy. Holy shit, they were so evenly matched. Oh my god, they both had machetes. They both ran out of ammo at the same time. They both decided to melee attack at the same time. They're both throwing bombs at each other at the same time. That's what happens in cage matches. When both, you know, people... When both parties are well equipped. Because it becomes a very intense, like... You know... No. Anyway, high school. I haven't seen this map in a while. I'm gonna chill out in the men's bathroom and uh, bandage up. Whew. I'm getting a little uh, short of breath here from talking so much. Oh my god! That was not expecting him to be right there. Okay. Always use listen mode. Lesson learned. Oh, oh, oh! Nice, dude! Oh, oh! Oh my god! Yes! Wow! Holy shit! God damn it, Cosmos! That was awesome! God damn, good for you! 17, 13, and 3. God damn, that's a good score, man. Good job. That taunt was totally well deserved. Lives in an apocalyptic wasteland where death could be waiting around every corner. Thinks Bill is paranoid for setting traps. You know, this is something I was thinking about when I was making the cinematic playthrough, and I was playing through that part again, and I heard Ellie say that, and I was like, wait a second, you guys have nearly died, like, like, what is it that Joel says? How many close calls have we had, right? Like, they almost die so many times, and you're gonna call Bill paranoid for setting traps? What? Alright, whatever. It's fine. No big deal. Let's get on to the next clip. So here we are on the bookstore, rocking a, uh, variable rifle. I have seen so many people lately have a ridiculous amount of ammo with the variable rifle. If I recall correctly, I may... Th I think I recommended that you use Scavenger 2, or Scavenger 1, with the variable rifle because it runs out of ammo so quickly. I don't know if these people are taking that advice or if they're just like racking up lots of kills or what, but... Someone in the last episode had like 32 bullets in his... it was, it was nuts. So nice job with that Molotov throw. But the battle is far from over, you still got... oh... Seven more people to kill, I, if I did my math correctly there. And, uh, yeah, here we are once again with me rambling about why I wouldn't feel confident as the last man standing with the variable rifle. And I don't know, I'm not even going to talk about that anymore, I just don't understand. I, I don't think it's a good weapon for last man standing, but everyone keeps proving me wrong with that. So maybe I just haven't played the game in a while and I'm just misremembering something, I don't know. Anyway. Very nice supply box drop there, you got a machete, and uh, even more- 37 bullets! God damn it, what the fuck? Maybe I need to start using the variable rifle more, even though I did use that, uh, I think the last couple times I played. Especially the silenced one, it seems like everyone's really, really loving the silenced variable rifle. So, you still got six more guys down, you're just gonna chill up here, wait for them to come to you. Smart move. That guy... Man, that was close, uh, but you handled that quite well. And you handled that even better. My god, you, it's like... <laughs> this guy seems like he's psychic or something. Cold Blood Boy is uh, psychic, I think. Because literally he's just like... He knows exactly when to turn around and when to fight and everything. Wow, look at you. Look at you! So you got three, no, two guys left to kill. They appear to be on the other side of the map. Look at all those supplies on the radar. I just want to pick up every single one of them. So. 
Yeah, you got plenty of armor, you got plenty of ammo. I think you're good. You only got two guys left to kill. Forty... Guys, stop me from going nuts. He's got 45 bullets. He's got 45 bullets. That's fucking insane. Has anyone else noticed that when you're on the loading screen for factions and you're loading into a map, there's one picture... You know, they show different screenshots of the game and stuff with tips. And uh, there's one screenshot on Lakeside where someone's using the semi-auto, I think. And I don't remember how many bullets they have, but they have a lot. They have like 50, 60, 70, something like that. They have a ridiculous number of bullets. And I just feel like right now, if I saw something like that on the loading screen where someone had 45 bullets in their variable rifle, I'd be like, that's fucking ridiculous. You can't get that many bullets. That's like, they must have taken, taken that screenshot before they finished making the game or something. Like the one with the semi-auto, but apparently not. So, anyway. Boom. Man, he's shooting fast with that thing. Oh, but he just barely managed to escape. Can he reload fast enough? Boom! Finishing shot. Now he just needs to get that guy before he heals the teammate. Nice! Good job. Good shit. And the last clip on the coal mine here. We got a 1 versus 9 scenario. Wow. Wow. It's crazy. It's Christopher Walken. I don't do a very good Christopher Walken, but sometimes I just do do it because it's fun. Because he's a fun... I feel like if I were Christopher Walken, talking would be the most fun activity of all time, probably. Anyway, uh, here we go. Only, go in revolver only, so this will be very interesting. Lone Wolf, that'll help you rack up parts and purchase some armor, hopefully, even though you've already got armor. So, probably rocking a stealth load out here, I would assume, with covert training. Very quick shooting there, very good job. Ooh, getting shot at from somewhere been marked as well. Ooh, so definitely not covert training three. Oh, but wow, holy shit, you got that. Wow. Dude. You're killing it, man. You are killing it. Oh my god, you're so close to dying! Oh my god! Ooh, I feel your panic there, man. Oh, you managed to heal just in time. He's coming around the corner. I'm getting shot at. Smoke bomb. Shiv him. Are you gonna shiv him? No, no, no. Too dangerous, too dangerous. Oh, he's going in for it. I'm wrong, it's not too dangerous. Oh! Oh, Machete is back up! Oh my god! This clip is full of fucking surprises. God damn. Alright. Picking up all those supplies. Yeah, you definitely want those. Whew. This is intense. Okay, so 13 Magnum or revolver bullets. And uh, armor as well. And, uh... Ooh. Taking some hits there. Oh, here we are again. People playing Duck Duck Goose in a most fucked up way. This is post post apocalyptic Duck Duck Goose. I <laughs> Someone needs to invent that game. I guess I just did, but whatever. Anyway, so uh, pay attention to the amount of parts he's getting. I don't know if. I mean, you have to consider he's got Lone Wolf on. Lone Wolf 2, level 2. And he's at a thousand parts for killing. You know, I don't know how many enemies at this point, maybe like the last three or four enemies brought him up from 500 parts to 1200 parts or something like that. Once again, I just don't feel like that's worth it, I don't know. I mean, I, he's at, he's at, he's kind of low on parts now, so maybe, you know, with all the ammo he's purchasing and all the, uh, all the armor he's purchasing, maybe it is totally worth it, but, I don't know. I think, I think they patched it so you only get 60 parts per kill, right? So, yeah, I don't know about that. But alright, last down to the last two guys. His juggling of simultaneous combat scenarios at the same time has been incredibly impressive. Uh, you saw him just, like, switching shoulders, aiming left, aiming right, shooting this guy down and that guy, executing that guy. Fucking crazy. Uh, you are like a cowboy. And it is really impressing the shit out of me. Jumping out the window here. 50 seconds left. You, oh, oh, okay. Oh, you could have shivved him. Oh my God. Ah, oh, so close, Phoenix. Good clip, regardless, though. Uh, very impressive skills on display. And had you shivved that guy when he jumped down, dude, I would have handed you a fucking trophy in person. I would have driven to wherever you live. Probably Phoenix, <laughs> I am assuming. Probably not, I'm just kidding, but yeah. No, anyway, very impressive clip. 
Thank you everybody for submitting your clips and your memes, and uh, that is that is really it. So thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys in the comments.